So this is the JVC KW-V940BW uh, head unit. Um, I picked it up from Crutchfield. It's a reconditioned unit, and so, uh, you know, I got it for a few hundred dollars off. That made me real happy. It has wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay um, and built-in DVD player, uh, big whoop. But anyway, so wireless Android Auto was the, 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 the thing that I was after, and... Um, but since it was a reconditioned model, it came with uh, a preloaded um, boots screen that I don't particularly care for. Iowa State, I'll bet there's six or so of you out there that are Iowa State fans. I'm not. So um, this is to cover the steps to get rid of that Iowa State logo and put up there whatever logo you want. Your girlfriend, um, you know, your boyfriend, whatever. Picture your car. Um, just there's some rules that you have to follow. So <clears throat> I'm going to cover some of those as I go through it. It has been painful trying to find how to do this. I emailed JVC. JVC responded back, oh, we don't have access to that information. You have to contact our, our suppliers. That made no sense at all. So I contacted Crutchfield, and Crutchfield went, uh, I don't know how to do that. So here we go. Okay, so you have to have two files loaded on your USB. Um, first of all, the, FAT, the USB has to be formatted FAT32, and then two files have to be loaded. Um, I'll provide information for the files that have to be loaded down below. But the uh, image file has to be saved in a sp with a specific name, um, and it has to be in 16-bit um, RGB, um, and then it has to be a specific size, 800 by 480 pixels. So there, it, it's not very flexible. But um, And then there's a text file that has to be loaded as well on, in the root directory, and <clears throat> you plug the root directory into the, the USB. That's my little USB cable hanging out down there at the bottom, and my USB stick is plugged into it. Um, then on the head unit, um, in the settings for AV, you have to be set up for AV in, um, if it's set to one of the other options, um, in my case, it absolutely would not, would not work. So once it was set to AV in, then go back to the home menu. Okay. Now, now then we go to AV. It has to say AV off. If it doesn't say AV off, you have to turn it off. But anyway, AV off, and then enter the super secret uh, code. So here we go. It's a double tap at the top, then a double tap at the bottom, then a single tap at the top, and then a single tap at the bottom. All these are in the, the left-hand side. So tap, 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 and we get our the super secret menu. So then, with the uh, super secret menu open, we'll click opening customize, and it opens up the uh, the text file, runs the text file on uh, the USB stick. So if you uh, messed up with your image file, uh, say you didn't save it under the correct file name, um, or it the, the, the system just absolutely didn't recognize whatever, you know, you saved it as a ping instead of a bitmap or, or some silly thing. Um, then you come up with a different color screen, and it says NG. No good. Mine says OK. So let's see how how uh, how it functions whenever we cycle power. All right. Powering back up. And come on, girl. There we go. Oh, there it is. I got a new flash screen. All right. Love me or hate me for Make America Great Again, but there it is. And now you know how to do it. So, uh, again, I'll leave the information down below on exactly uh, what to do with the the um, two files that you need. And, I don't know, uh, when I'm done, I might, I might embed them someplace in this video. Thank you. Bye.